In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Right, so here we've got a new concept, in fact. So here is a problem. It says uh, find the value of uh, cosine of pi by 8. So, well, I'm sure, uh, you know, we haven't solved any of these uh, kind of problems in the previous videos. It's the first of its kind now. So let me quickly tell you what we have to do. So this is, you know, cos pi by 8, a new concept. So here what we have to use is we need to use the formula cos of a by 2, you know, converting the writing the angles a by 2 in terms of cos a. That's what we did in one of the previous videos. So cos of a by 2 equals plus or minus square root 1 plus cos a. See, we've changed a by 2 to a. But please don't wonder why are we talking about a by 2 when the question is about pi by 8. I'll come to that. So 1 plus cos a divided by 2. So what we do here is, uh, now that we've got this formula, we need to take a in such a way that, you know, when you substitute the value of a, you need to get pi by 8. So if we substitute the value of a as pi by 4, we will get, you know, cos pi by 8, right? So it's going to become cos of pi by 4 times 2 will be pi by 8. And here it will be plus or minus root 1 plus cos pi by 4 in the place of a. I'm writing pi by 4 divided by 2. Now we've almost found the answer. One plus or minus square root of 1 plus cos pi by 4 is nothing but cos 45 degrees, which is nothing but 1 by root 2 divided by 2. So solving this, you know, we can get cos of pi by 8 equals plus or minus square root of root 2 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So that is the value of cos pi by 8. And how do we do it? We need to use the formula which helps us write the angles a by 2 in terms of a. So it's not that direct though. You need to use this formula and then substitute the value of a with such that, you know, we're going to get to this. All right. So that ends this problem. Let's quickly solve another problem. So the next problem would be find the value of, well, sine pi by 8. So for sine pi by 8, we need to take sine a by 2, which is nothing but plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos a divided by 2. Now, please note, we are definitely going to write everything in terms of cos a. You know, sine is also going to be in terms of cos a, cos a by 2 is also going to be in terms of cos a. The only difference being the signs in between. Right, so now what do we have to substitute a as? Take a as pi by 4 because only when you take it as pi by 4 are we going to get sine of pi by 8 when we substitute there right so when we do that we get sine pi by 8 and automatically change the right hand side as well we're going to get 1 minus cos pi by 4 divided by 2 so it's the same values it'll be sine pi by 8 will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cos pi by 4 is cos 45 which is 1 by square root of 2 divided by 2 and solving this you get sine pi by 8 equals plus or minus square root of root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So that ends this problem as well as this video. Let's quickly solve another problem in the forthcoming videos based on these formulas here. Let's also solve a problem on tangent in the next video.